Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, family name sign and just to speed up the video a little bit I've already welded the names and put them into the hearts. However, I am going to quickly go through and just show you how I did that. Um, so I'm just going to take an image here that I've got saved from Google, which is just a love heart basically. Um, and as you can see there, it has a background around it. So we want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to go into trace bitmap and with that selected, I'll just click the apply button. And as you can see, once I pull this one off, it no longer now has a background behind it. So I'll get rid of that one because we don't need that now. And I'm just going to take this one, make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to right click and duplicate. Uh, to make a duplicate of that one and I'll change the color to red just so we can see the difference and I'm just going to scroll that down or size that down just a little bit I'm going to place the two together and then select them both and then up here you can click the uh, align and distribution tab and that can also be found underneath the object uh, tab as well um, so I'm just going to align those horizontally and vertically um, and the reason that I do that is just, I wanted to give the heart a bit of a different shape, I guess. So it's a little bit thicker at the top here, a little bit thin here, but you can sort of move that around and get it to wherever you like. And, uh, yeah, once you've got them, uh, both where you want them, you just select both at the same time and then click, uh, path and difference. And that's basically how we ended up with that love heart shape. Uh, so jumping ahead now, we're going to do our family. Uh, this sign actually says our family with these love hearts placed around it. Kids' names, mum and dad's name, and the kids' names in the middle. Uh, so this one's, yeah, just as I said, our family. And I'll just zoom that in a little bit and show you how to weld this text together as well. So again, clicking path and then object to path. Um, and I'm just going to go to outline mode so you can clearly see here that they are not joined at the moment. So... Um, the only reason the family one there is still uh, black is because I haven't done a, I haven't changed that to a path as yet. So uh, once you get that, you can click ungroup and then you can select each individual letter, sort of just drag that over so it overlaps a little bit and select the whole word and then click combined or path combined and path union and that groups all that together. So I'm going to do the same on the family one here. So again, I'll click it, I'll go path and object to path to make it a path. Um, and I've got the gap here and also the I for the dot. So basically what I'll do is the same thing. I'm going to ungroup it and click on the F and drag that over just so it's overlapping a little bit. And with the dot here on the I, um, basically you can select that. And just under the selection tool here, there is the node editor tool. And you can just group all those nodes together grab one of them and drag that down onto it. And you can see there that's all overlapping. Uh, so I'll just scroll that out a bit. Again, selecting the whole uh, word. And then again, just clicking that path combined and path union. And as you can see there, it's all now welded together. Um, so I'll go ahead and just place this uh, maybe over here. And again, I just want it to overlap a little bit so that when the laser cuts this out, it's all... Uh, all cut out as one 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 thing. Uh, so again, I'll just line this up and get it where I want. And uh, 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 again, it's just a case of selecting both and doing that path combined and path union. Uh, if anybody knows a quicker or better way of doing that, definitely let me know in the comments, but this is just the way that I do it and it seems to work quite well for me. So um, I'm going to go back to normal mode here now so we can see this. And again, if you wanted to put those names inside the, the hearts or inside a circle or whatever that might be, again, it's just a matter of placing it where you would like it and selecting it all and going through that routine of hitting that path combined and path union. Uh, so now that's done, I can get rid of that heart and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because this is going to be the main part of the sign. So our family... And then I'm just going to randomly go around and sort of place these, uh, place these hearts, um, you know, just wherever they sort of look good or wherever they fit nicely, I guess. So I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. And um, again, I'm just going to place these so that they overlap onto the the our family word, and then I'll go through and just combine all that right at the end so it all joins together. So again, just finding you know, where I'd like to place these. And actually looking at this now while I'm recording the video, I can probably see that the font that I've used inside these hearts is probably a little bit too thin. Um, so it probably is a good idea to use a thicker font, but being that I'm this far in, I'm just gonna keep going with it. But I think once the laser goes to cut this out, um, we will find that those that font is probably a little bit too thin. So probably something to keep in mind if you're going to go through and do something like this yourself, maybe use a thicker font. It's something that will definitely um, cut a little bit better on the machine. 
So I'll just go through now and make sure that these are all overlapped in the proper places. If not, you can just click on them and, uh, and put them where you like. So I just want to make sure that everything's overlapping. So just when I weld or combine it all together, that it all sort of fits together nicely. So. All looks pretty good there. So again, now it's just a case of grouping everything together or selecting everything, I should say, and then doing that path combined and path union. And you can see there that that all welds together perfectly. Uh, with this little bit here, you can just click on that node node editor selection tool again, and we can just select those and delete them. Um, and you can do that with any of those parts in the middle there. You can um, select them and, and remove them. Uh, but that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'll put that back to the normal view, and I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then we'll take that into Lightburn, and I'll get that set up ready to cut on the CO2 laser machine. So I'll just get this saved. And then, uh, yeah, jump into Lightburn. Uh, save that as a DXF as well. I'll click OK. Give that a minute to save, and then I'll jump over to Lightburn, and we'll just set that up. And again, so I'm just going to import that file that I just saved. It is a DX DXF. Um, so I'm just going to import that into Lightburn, pop it up into this top left corner. Um, again, you know, you can resize this to whatever size that you like, uh, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to make it 40 centimeters. Um, and yeah, but again, you can make it whatever size you like, obviously. So just a matter of um, resizing that there. Um, I've got it all set up over here. So I've got it set to cut. Um, as there's no engraving on this one, it's all a cut, so I've just got my speed at 12, power at 40%, my air assist is turned on, and uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and save that, and we'll jump over to the laser machine and uh, run this file. All right, guys, here we are back at the laser machine. So I'm just going to chuck in some material here. So this is just some three millimeter MDF. Um, normally when I make things like this, they are usually made out of six mil. Um, but yeah, for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing something that's nice and easy. So I'm just going to do a quick frame there to make sure that the design fits within the material. Um, and then we'll get it started. So I've already got the exhaust extraction going. And uh, obviously this is set up with the air assist that the air assist automatically kicks on and off. Uh, because I sort of selected it in the light burn where I showed you before. Um, so yeah, again, I think take note of the font. Obviously, as I said in the video prior, um, I didn't realise until I'd sort of gotten through halfway through that design that the font was probably a little bit too thin in some places. It might turn out okay, but being that this is only um, sort of 40 centimetres, it's probably going to cut it quite small, so it will be quite thin. You can already see there that um, it's going to be quite thin, so maybe just keep that in mind if you're going to do something similar to this um, That you might need to use a thicker font, but for the purposes of the video um, I just wanted to show basically how to actually make a design that was like this So hopefully that was helpful and um, we'll just let this run and see how it turns out at the end um, I think it's about 15 to 16, 17 minutes maybe uh, run time on this to cut this all out. So I won't sort of let it play the whole way like this. I'll just speed the video up a little bit um, just so it's not so long. And um, yeah, we'll pop back once it's finished and have a bit of a look at the outcome and um, see how it turns out.
guys, it's just getting ready to finish up now. And then uh, we'll get it pulled out and have a little look at it. I'm actually pretty happy with the cut. Um, seems to have cut, cut out quite well. Um, but we'll have a bit of a look at those names and just see how thin they are. Hopefully I don't break it trying to pull it out. Just get all these little bits and pieces out. It can be quite tricky, especially around the names here. And make sure I don't snap anything. That's all out. Just close this lid. Have a look. Okay, here we go, final product. So, looking at it, doesn't look too bad. You can see there that it is a bit thin, a little bit burnt. Uh, but all in all, for the purpose of the video, I think this one turned out pretty good. Um, and again, just keeping in mind with that font, if you uh, want to do one, make sure you use a bit of a thicker font. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.